Hey folks, Redneck Vapor here. Got another video for you today. What we gonna be talking about? I'm gonna talk about this tugboat mod. Here we are. Just another day in paradise down here in Tennessee. Got us a, some cold weather. Y'all been getting all this cold weather out there? Anywho, let's get on with the show here, I guess you can call it. Today I'm going to talk about the Tugboat Mod by Flawless Vape Shop and Beetlejuice. Now this was a collab type of deal. I guess they went in half and half on it, I'm not sure, but this was a collab. Put together a mod from the same makers of the Tugboat RDA. First off, we're just going to hop on down there in zoom diggity mode and take a closer look at this thing. Let's go. Hey folks, welcome to zoom diggity mode. Today we're going to be taking a close look at the Tugboat Mod. It comes in a package like this. It's in a box. You see there it says BJ X and I'm assuming that that is the flawless emblem I'm not sure don't quote me on that on this side it has the uh, website for Beetlejuice Vapors and Flawless Vape Shop where they did a collab in making this mod I'm not exactly sure what the collab thing was about if they went in half and half on the money I don't know to have this mod created I'm not sure if you know you can put it down yonder in the comments and I'll surely listen to you um, on this side it says hashtag tugboat and on the bottom made in the USA America alright let's do the unboxing here pretty simple you open the box up and you got the mod. Nothing else in there. Alright. There's the box. <clears throat> and there it is. Tugboat mod. You got your... Seems to be a very familiar logo there these days. You see a lot on Instagram and this and that. The tugboat emblem. Now when you turn it around got the American flag all right here's the top now there's holes drilled here but for some reason on my particular one I'm gonna take the top off here I'll show you particular model that I got here or unit that I got that second hole is not drilled all the way through I don't know if this is for battery venting or not as you can see on the bottom of the where the button's going to be at, I believe this is going to have plenty of venting going on. But one of mine is all the way through. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway. This is a hybrid connection. So I'll show you how this works in just a second. Let's take the rest of it apart. Now down in here, which this was a little, little messed up when I first got it as far as... Uh, the button assembly is kind of hard to get it in there just right. Sometimes you got to take your battery and get in there to get that piece out. That's a magnet. And then if I can get this other one out. I guess I should have had all this taken apart before I went to getting it on camera. Okay, here's the button. Now on this button, you got your Beetlejuice emblem logo on the bottom let's see what's that say right there Beetlejuice no serial number or anything like that there's a hole right there for venting if needed copper contact right there and that is a magnet as you can see this is the other magnet they are opposing each other and if you put it on that side whoop, there you go very strong magnets. <clears throat> Sorry folks, my throat's a little scratchy today. Anyway, 
there we go. Now this is real important when you go to start assembling this. You want to put your button down in there, but before you put your button down in the top, you can't put it in the bottom. It has to go in down through the top. Before you do that, make sure you know which side's the opposing. And I'll show you why here in just a second, because I'm going to do it just like this. See how they're touching each other? I'm going to put it together like this real quick and show you all what happens. Okay, if you put the, the magnets in there the wrong way, let me go over this real quick. This is a hybrid connection, meaning you could take any atomizer you got. You need to make sure that the positive pin does stick out further than the outside, which it doesn't much on the tugboat that I have, but it does stick out. You can see it right there just to prevent any kind of shorting from happening. You just thread that down on the top cap like so. Okay. And if you put the magnets in there the wrong way, I'm going to show you what happens. I'll put this top on. I can't see. You can't see. You can't see. There, there we go. By the way, this is made out of 6061T6 aluminum, I believe. So be real careful when you thread that on. You can cross thread it very easily. Okay, if you put the magnet in there the wrong way, see if you look, it's firing when I hit the button. But here's why you got to make sure you put it in there the right way, because watch. See, it's firing. I don't know if you can see that. Can you hear it? See, it's firing. What's happening is when I tip it, the button's falling in and it's firing. So this is why you got to make sure you get the magnets in there the right way. So let me pull everything out. Turn this around where it's opposing the button. Put that on the bottom of the battery. Put the button back in there. And get it to push it down in the tube. There it goes. Sometimes you got to wiggle her a little bit. To get that button in there right. And you can just see, once you get this in there right, you want to leave it. Because it's a little fiddly. Okay, now it's in there right. Your battery should do that if you have the magnets in there right. It should want to just pop right out of there when you put pull the cap off. Now, let's get this back on there. Threads are, they're okay considering that this is an aluminum mod. They're not super, super smooth, a little crunchy, but not bad in my opinion, looking at what kind of material it is. Now down here, there's no locking feature on this device. The button is completely flush and recessed so if I set it down and it stands up because I got a towel here it's not firing. If I push down on it it's not firing. So the, the strength of this magnet keeps it from firing. I'm not saying that it won't fire at all given certain circumstances. If you stick it in your pocket and there's something in the bottom of your pocket that pushes up on that button because the throw is a pretty good throw, but as you can see, it's not very far. And that will vary on the size of your battery and the center post on the Addy you have attached. The throw will vary. So, it's not firing on its own. Pretty sharp looking piece, in my opinion. Very smooth finish on it. It, uh feels almost like plastic to me. Whatever kind of coating they used on this feels very plastic. It's not very like slidey as some people tend to, you know, it slides, but this thing is super light, folks. It is very light and See if I can find anything else I want to say about this. I know I've done just a rambled on and made this real long, but I just didn't want to miss any details. Let's get that to focus. There we go, focus. Let y'all see the finish a little better if you can see it. 
it's very smooth like I said it feels like plastic it's very light but as far as the machining goes seems to be machined pretty well in my opinion for what it is this is an aluminum mod let me pull the battery out and let y'all see the inside here see it is made of aluminum it looks kind of like I don't know kind of almost galvanized looking on the inside magnet sticks right to the bottom of the battery as you can see this is an old battery you know how I can tell because I put old on it I did that to label these because I bought a set of batteries after these and I wanted to know that these were the older ones of the two sets they're a couple months apart but that's it in its complete glory with my orange tugboat RDA on top of it and that's what you leave I line the caps won't line up that's another thing that might be a little bit of a con to some of y'all not all mods lining it up with your with your coils the logos may not line up right I've had some mods that this will line up just perfect on and others that don't but with this in particular one right here I haven't been able to get it in any of my tugboats to line up I've got the version 2 that I may do a review on this is my orange version 1 but there she is that's a close look at my tugboat mod from local vape is where I got this one from anywho let's get back up to regular view there and uh, I'll point out a few other things and we'll have a vape on it alrighty now that we've gotten a closer look at this thing let's talk about a little pros and cons here let's start with the cons I'm just gonna go ahead with the cons get them out of the way one con I guess this could be a pro or a con. Let's put it this way. No locking feature. You know, some of y'all that have used the Manhattans and the Fuhattans and all them other ones that don't have the locking feature, real strong magnets on the bottom, you might like something like this. You may consider it a pro. Now, other people that like to put this in their pocket and carry all kinds of other stuff in their pockets may not like this because, you know, there's a possibility you set it down in your pocket nice and tight on top of something suckers gonna fire you know what I'm saying it's it's a good push but it's not much all right I'm gonna hit again mm -mm -mm. another con is can you hear that huh. I guess depending on what size battery I got a Sony VTC4 in mine you can hear the battery, hear and feel the battery wiggling back and forth in the tube because the tube is bigger around, you know, has a wider diameter than your battery. And it, I can feel it wiggling. Because that battery is just freely sitting in there with a, the magnet, you know, so it kind of mm, up and down a little bit, side to side. So that that's a con in my opinion. Just, you know, it's a subjective thing. That may not bother you. It bothered me a little bit when I first got this a week or two ago. But other than that, that's about the only... Oh, another one. Got one more con. Any of y'all that are familiar with the tugboat, especially if you pull the cap off a lot and the juice gets down in there or gets down the side, on this top, where them holes is, There is the possibility, and it will happen. See all that juice on top of there? Can you see it? Can you see it? Up, close, close, close. Can you see it? There you go. That was a bear in That juice can get down in those holes that are drilled and get in there on your battery. So you need to make sure you keep that wiped up. I'm wiping mine off on a towel right now. Or that juice will get down in there on top of your battery. Wipe off the bottom of the tugboat real quick, too. Man, I'm on, this video is going to be long, folks. I'm sorry. I just had to cover all the grounds on this. Let me look her over real quick, make sure I didn't miss anything as far as the cons go. And I'm, I'll, that's about it. That's about all I've found wrong with it so far. I have seen some folks post a few videos saying that their buttons arcing or sparking or something like that down there, but I have not had that issue with mine. And I don't sit there and do this right here with mine either. 
you know, just wiggling at the button like that fella was doing. I'm not saying any names, but who does that when they're vaping? I don't. I hit the button and I vape. Oh, another con can be the fact that the button's recessed. Some people may not like the fact that you do have to stick your finger in there and press that button. I've tried to do it with my knuckle and stuff like that, and it just... It ain't an, I can't get it up in there enough to make it happen, so that might be a con for some of y'all out there. Let's move on to the pros. For one, this sucker is light as hell. It is light, especially with an anodized tugboat on top of it. You know, this is just a very, with a battery in it, weighs practically nothing. Super smooth finish on it, very nice finish. That's a pro in my opinion. You know, the the tugboat logo and everything that we've all come to love. The fan base out there and all that good shit. I said, well, pardon my language, but I said it again, shit. Um, Anywho, what else? Magnetic switch with copper contacts on all the mag, you know, all the connections are all copper. Hybrid connection, so your atomizer's making direct contact with your battery. Let's see, what else? I've done covered that overall. It's a really nice looking piece there. It looks like it has plenty of ventilation to me. It's got a hole drilled in the bottom of the button there. It's got these little thin looking things there on the side. It hits. I'm, I'm kind of like Grim Green on this. You know, yeah, there's been some mods I've been like, yeah, it hits like a train or it hits like Mike Tyson, this and that. This one hits, like I can say for him, hits very well. I don't know how well, I believe aluminum is a very good conductor when it comes to that, but I have had, I'll be completely honest with you, I have had a copper mod or two that hits just a tad bit harder. Just a little bit. But for what this is made out of, I believe it was 6061 T6 aluminum. It hits really good for a very light, you know, it's not, it, it feels really solid, yet it is light. Very solid feel. Not hard to hold on to, not uncomfortable to hold, but it hits really well for the materials it is made out of. Or should I say it hits really good. I mean, 0.4 ohm build I got in here with 26 gauge organic cotton as you can see it's hitting very well I got the ceiling fan on in here so it's blowing it all away but there we go let me make sure I hadn't missed anything else on this I did not mean to make this on what probably a 20 minute video wouldn't well, you know it folks I'd always forget something another con or not con a pro to the uh, tugboat mod is the fact that it is made of aluminum aluminum is a really good conductor of heat meaning any of y'all that have a copper mod you know that if you just constantly chain vaping on it the atomizer will get hot you know the rda cap will get hot and that heat sinks down into the mod and get your mod hot <coughs> sorry but in this case that doesn't happen. I mean, it'll get warm, but it doesn't stay warm very warm, you know, very long. So that's another pro I wanted to throw in there. The fact that it is made of aluminum, it does not, you know, hold the heat much sinking down from the, uh, it stays cool. That's what I'm trying to say. Hard, hard to explain, but I had to throw that in there. I had a fellow on Instagram that hit me up when I posted a few pieces or a few pictures of this on Instagram wanted me you know to do a video and show him he's interested in getting one wanted me to show him all the things about it so I wanted to hurry up and get that done for him and anybody else that was curious to know about it but uh that's about it you can find these at Flawless Vape Shop Dot com, I believe you can get them at local vape. There may be a few other places out there, but I believe them down yonder in the comments. I mean, in the description, I'm gonna put local vape and flawless vape shop on there. 
So if you can find it somewhere else, these things are going for a hundred bucks. Hundred dollars for a Made in America. There's another pro right there. Made in America. America. Made in America mod. Um, authentic for a hundred bucks. A mech mod for a hundred bucks. Heck yeah. I tell you what, it took me a little while to, to save up some scratch for this, but I was looking for an authentic mod that I've been wanting for, you know, I've been wanting this and ever since the very first one I seen. So I saved up some money and when it finally hit, I went and got one. But, anywho, I reckon that's all I got on that. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And like always, folks, it's a redneck vapor. Y'all keep on vaping. I'll see you next time. <laughs>